Google just introduced Gemini, their new large language model, which is multimodal, so it can see, read, hear, and text with you. And the first demos and the first tests are actually crazy and will blow you away. It blasts away GPT-4 in nearly every test you can imagine. If I were to look at the foundational breakthroughs in AI over the past decade, Google has been at the forefront of many of those breakthroughs. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do. So not just text, but also code, audio, image, and video. Taylor used Gemini to search a large corpus of scientific papers for key information. We wrote a prompt. With its advanced reasoning capabilities, Gemini was able to distinguish between papers that were relevant to the study and those that weren't. I'm delighted to introduce AlphaCode 2, powered by Gemini. When we evaluate AlphaCode 2 on the same platform as the original AlphaCode, we solve almost twice as many problems. Gemini on its own has the ability to transform software development as we understand it. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. But safety and responsibility has to be built in from the beginning. And that has oriented us to be both bold and responsible together. Developers and enterprise customers are going to figure out really creative ways to further refine our foundational models. Gemini will be available in three sizes. Gemini Ultra, our most capable and largest model for highly complex tasks. Gemini Pro, our best performing model for a broad range of tasks. And Gemini Nano, our most efficient model for on-device tasks. It's been a monumental engineering task, which has been, you know, very challenging, but also very exciting. For us AI automation agencies and AI software development companies, it's very important to always stay on the edge of technology. And it's very important for us to know that this Google technology will be available starting from next week for us creators to build products. So let's get started. I will show you what Gemini is first. So this is the new website of Gemini, deepmind.google. And there is some presentations, how they showed it around, but this is very, very interesting here. Meet the first version of Gemini, our most capable AI model. Gemini is the first model to outperform human experts on massive multitask language understanding tasks. One of the most popular methods to test the knowledge and problem solving abilities of AI models. As you can see here, ChatGPT4 has resulted with 86.4%, still way below a human expert. Gemini Ultra apparently is slightly above a human expert in I think 50 different um, industries they tried this out. And this is actually massive. So this means that this AI can outperform human experts in their own field, which they have worked in for 30, 40 years, and they are the experts in exactly that field, and this AI seems to outperform that human. And this is just the beginning in my understanding. I think this goes way further and beyond very soon. As you can see here, we can see different kinds of tests which have been done between Gemini Ultra and GPT-4. It's important to know with Gemini there will be three different versions. Gemini Nano, Gemini Pro and Gemini Ultra. Ultra being the most performing model as GPT-4 is for OpenAI. So this is a fair comparison. And as you can see, in nearly every single test except the Hella Swag test, ChatGPT4 was losing against Gemini Ultra. You can watch all the details about this if you are a geek on deepmind.google yourself, but I will not go too deep into this. Also, the multimodal capabilities were tested against GPT-4 and also against other models from OpenAI. For example, the audio was tested against Whisper and Google was outperforming every single test here against OpenAI's competition. And this is actually crazy. It was clear for us that OpenAI will get more and more competition and Google is one of the biggest companies out there who's working with AI and on AI. So we are very excited to use AI's, um, to use Google's AI capabilities and Google's AI products in our own products, which we are building custom for our clients. So we're really looking forward how the API looks like, what kind of tools they have for creators and so on. Everything will be clear probably from next week, 13th of December, they announced. So we are really excited and we will keep you updated obviously as well on this channel. Next, uh, as you can see, there's three sizes of Gemini. It's Nano, Pro and Ultra. 
and it's anything to anything that's very very important it's a multi-model system much more than gpt4 is gpt4 just became multi-model a few weeks ago so it can hear it can read it can see and it can speak um, and in this case it's even crazier um, i will show you a demo to demonstrate that most important part is this build with gemini Integrate Gemini models into your applications with Google AI Studio and Google Cloud Vertex AI, available December 13. This is important for all of you out there who are working, building and creating tools and software with AI. So we will be here on December 13 and I hope you will be too. We are very excited for this. And now let's jump into the demo to see what Gemini can really do. Let's start. All right. Testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high, level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called, Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue 1. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue 2. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth. A dog. Sweet. The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm. I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. 
Is this the right order? No, the correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Alright, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice. That's it. I think we're done. As you can see from this short demonstration, the capabilities of Gemini seem to be crazy. It seems to be understand everything very, very well, and it seems to adapt to live video footage extremely good. We have seen the competition start and the war has begun. So in my opinion, there is three big corners in this fight, which is OpenAI with ChatGPT, Anthropic with Claude, and Google with Gemini coming up right now. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win this battle and who is going to be the most popular and most used AI tool next year. Currently, I guess it's ChatGPT, OpenAI because they had the head start last year. But let me know in the comments what you think. Subscribe to this channel, like this video to stay updated and I will see you in the next one. Peace.